What's going on everyone? It's Murph. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some data mine info that came out last night after I recorded the video that released. So I didn't get a chance to cover it at that point. And then we're going to roll into some Doom campaign. We're not, not actual gameplay yet, but just kind of theory crafting ideas for teams for the first few chapters of Doom War on an early to mid game account. So you guys are enjoying the content please make sure that you subscribe like the video leave a comment down below let's have a conversation and let's get into it so first off this came through my discord at 8 46 p.m last night and it, it looks like a whole lot of new information right so first off a monster event is coming earn abomination earn abomination shards and gear so transform your roster the upcoming hulk hunter event participate in select september events to recruit abomination and earn Monster rewards. So what this looks like to me is that this is going to be the September month-long event, the same way we've had them ever since May or maybe even April. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. But so next next month's character is going to be Abomination, which kind of sucks. I was hoping he's going to be part of a, a regular event, but it's fine. Um, some other things that we're going to get out of this is going to be some Gamma Goliath orbs, fully crafted Abomination ge gear tier 16 gear. Armory 14, 15, and 16 orb fragments, gold orb fragments, orange elite orb fragments, gold promotion credits, and tier 3, tier 2 ability orb fragments. Now, another one, they're going to be increasing the superior basic catalyst parts in the high roller milestone, and over 150% more superior stat catalyst parts in the save the world milestone. That's awesome. That's going to help people kind of push through these gear choke points that they've been in for a little while. Um... The next announcement here is the uh, another Hulk Hunter related event. So recruit Abomination and create a monster roster by participating in September events. Throughout the month of September, there will be nine separate milestone events that earn points towards the Hulk Hunter event. Now this is probably going to follow the same amount of events, right? Like two victory blueprints, two coordinated assaults, um, and then your, your one blitz, your one maybe hero campaign, and everything else added together, as well as those quick rumble blitzes. So you're going to earn points by collecting mutated cells. So that's going to be your, um, your, your orbs or I don't even remember what the hell they're called. Like in any of the events, I never remember. They don't matter. They're just, they're the collectible that give you points for that monthly milestone. Um, imperfect serum, irradiated blood, bone spikes, and indestructible pants. So these sound like they're going to be the key event items from the four weekly events going on during the month. Um, you can find more mutated cells throughout the month when you collect. Connect your Sculpey account in the options menu and visit our website. Okay. Uh, players will have the opportunity to earn Gamma Goliath orbs, which contain Abomination shards. With each orb opening, containing a chance to get up to 100 shards. So, essentially what they're doing is they're pulling the, the character shards out of the milestones for the month and shoving them into orbs. You know, so they're throwing a little RNG into play with it. And honestly, I don't mind that. I know a lot of content creators are up in arms about it right now, but it it's fucking outrage culture, and that's all it is. It's just them getting mad over nothing. Like it's kind of like almost like self manifestation madness, where like you go into something thinking it's gonna be fucking bullshit, and then you're automatically pissed off because you thought it was gonna be bullshit. Like who cares, honestly? Unless you're dumping a shit ton of money into the game, it doesn't matter. We're still gonna play. We're still gonna do our milestones and our events. We're still gonna clear whatever we can clear and we're going to get whatever we can get it doesn't matter like don't get all up like it the thing that i don't get and i'm so fucking irritated with it that like i can barely even like i i do all these videos off the top of my head i, I really don't make a script or an outline or anything so like i'm having trouble thinking about like, like the words i want to say right now but all these fucking content creators who are out here making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars off of you guys watching their videos are outraged about RNG in a game that they're blowing those thousands of dollars on. So don't fucking buy into it. On top of that, all they've done is whine and bitch about all these monthly milestone events for character releases saying they're dog shit. I can't get characters at four stars, blah, blah, blah. They bitched about the Blitz release events before that. Like, they're going to continue to bitch about every single thing. And they want Scopely and, and the, the people who make this game to, to change the way that they're they're presenting characters and, and, and releasing things in the game. But every time that they do something, they do nothing but bitch about it again and call for another change. So, like, just my rant's over. Don't buy into it. Just enjoy the game. Play the game. And if you don't enjoy it, don't play it. 
right guys but i'm gonna get off my soapbox here we'll finish reading through the rest of this uh yeah so you'll earn the gamma Gol or gamma goliath orbs the rewards will also include orange elite orbs tier two and three ability material orbs for players in the earlier stages of the game that's us uh there's also a hidden leaderboard as always with these i'm not going to get into that so get ready to innovate hulk hunter progress and gamma radiation upgrade your forces with the upcoming stark r d event earn hulk hunter progress so this is probably gonna be the first six day reward uh milestone right that feeds into that that monthly milestone looks like we're gonna be getting the you know the monthly cur currency your your big item for the the monthly currency and then elite five credits teal gear training modules sweet a little more information on that as well the stark r d milestone here so you're gonna earn points for a six day milestone event and it's gonna be a blitz event and spending gold so instead of spending cores now we spend gold for this event so make sure that like like if you haven't seen my resources video just go watch it there's gonna be a card up there somewhere um make sure that you're conserving your gold so that you can spend during this event if you have to if you're not able to clear the milestones through blitz you will be able to augment that through spending gold so make sure you have enough saved up start saving now you'll also earn more points using bionic avengers and even more if they're gear 13 and above so that's going to follow that same bonus blitz points for if you're using bionic avengers and bonus if your bionic avengers are gear 13 and even more points if they're gear 15 right so if you're not gearing them yet you can start now you've probably i mean you got at least two weeks until this event comes out um there's also going to be a web milestone for collecting start credits so make sure that you're you're on your alliance donations every day you should be anyways it's 10k gold it doesn't doesn't hurt you uh other select offer so i'm assuming this might be like the, the one orb offers potentially or maybe your your war offers where you know where you purchase um the like a, attack refreshes and it gives you other currency maybe they'll start stuffing start credits into that um i don't think there's a way to buy start credits out of the war store i think you just spend start credits in the war store so yeah um and then an issue with Nico's costume, which is hilarious because they just fucking shoehorned that into the the strike pass when it just came out like a couple weeks ago. So I, I thought that was funny. But all right, let's roll into talking a little bit about some Doom campaign information for newer players. So uh, Doom campaign, you hit level 70, you unlock your Doom campaign. They require certain traits uh, to, in order to even use those characters on those nodes. And you really want to push through this campaign. As early as possible because there are some very very valuable characters towards the end of it that are very very worthwhile for the end game to farm so your first nodes are going to be uh, chapters 1 1 to 1 3 the required traits are going to be hero mutants or and or hero inhumans so some characters that we can run through these uh these required traits based on our, our gearing guides and our priorities for pursuing apocalypse First off, Unlimited X-Men, you have to have them at gear 15 and 17 in order to compete in the sagas for unlocking Apocalypse. So that already, building them for these is wasting no efficiency whatsoever. Some other teams to consider are Astonishing X-Men because that is a raid team. You're going to want to build them to gear 14, 15 eventually in order to participate in Doom Raids. Uh, going further down the mutant list, we've got X-Factor, which is required team for Adam Warlock. And they're... I used Longshot and Shatterstar when I did this on my main. They're fine, but honestly, if you haven't geared the rest of these characters yet, I wouldn't even really start gearing these guys until you've geared them. But uh, Wolverine's also here as kind of an honorable mention just because, I mean, it's kind of just the new player thing to do. You get Wolverine for free early on, and you build him. So if you got him, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using him there. Uh, other teams, X-Force or Uncanny X-Men, if you built them for whatever reasons as an early player, you can use them. I mean, Uncanny is a great team. They're fucking phenomenal, but I just, I don't see a whole lot of new players that are going to invest in that. I don't know. I don't see that being a thing right now. I know it sure hasn't been for me on any of my accounts. Um, Inhuman characters are kind of lackluster you can use miss marvel because she's a young avenger you're going to need her for your your famine scourge event so 
you can get her up to gear 14. That's kind of where we're aiming to take her eventually. So that's it's very easy for you to take her in there. Black Bolt and Yo-Yo kind of get honorable mentions here because Yo-Yo is used in so many different events, being that she has the Inhuman and the Shield tags. The same goes for Quake, but she's obviously not... Like, you just don't want to invest in Quake for this event. Like, you can farm her in order to unlock your Iron Man, in order to unlock your um, Ebony Maw, whatever, but just don't don't invest in her. You don't want to use her for this. Um, and then Karnak and Crystal are here just because they carry the trait, but they're garbage tier for this, more or less. The next characters we're going to talk about for chapters 1-4 to 1-6, they are Hero Mystic and Guardians Tags. So Hero Mystic, you can actually use Wong and Scarlet Witch from your Darkhold team, which again is a another Horseman team the same way Unlimited X-Men is. So you're going to have to build them to gear 15 and 17 eventually for Apocalypse. Why not build them and use them for this? You're wasting no efficiency that way. Icarus and Cersei obviously have nothing to do with the Apocalypse meta, but if you have them unlocked, I know they're not free to play yet. They're not farmable. But if you happen to luck out with some Mega Pulls or Premium Pulls, build them use them don't think about it they're just they're still fucking absolute top tier meta characters other characters here in kind of the the good but not great tier include thor mighty thor and heimdall from your heroes guardians you're going to need them for the upcoming war scourge event next month america chavez for the same reason that we had miss marvel in the other chapters because young avengers famine scourge you're 14 now deathpool cloak and dagger are in here because you can use them for your mystic raid team so building them will actually pay off in other game modes so that's worthwhile to have here and adam warlock i mean if you hit if you hit level 70 and unlock your your doom campaign and you already have adam warlock unlocked hey man i mean fucking use them but it, personally he's only this far on the list because i'm not pursuing him as an early player right now that won't be until further on in the later game for me now we've also got dr voodoo ghost rider and elsa bloodstone here Dark Hunters are still a, a Scourge team, but they're not really used in Scourge, aside from a Sacrifice team. And, and they got some use in a war as well, so if you have them and you have them built, you can use them. Same with the Wakandans, Black Panther, and M'Baku. And Silver Surfer is just a good all-around plug-and-play character. The rest of these characters, are, are I wouldn't use them personally, but if you have them built, fuck it. Nico Minoru, Iron Fist, White Tiger, Doctor Strange, and Moon Knight. So to round this these chapters out, you can also use the Guardians tag, which means Gamora, if you have her built, you probably have her built. She's every early game player's arena character. You can use her. Rocket Raccoon is only like good, not great on here because you do have to build him for your Nowhere Heist team at some point. Star-Lord and Groot, I mean, eh, you can use him. I don't recommend it. And Drax and Mantis are garbage tier. So moving on. Our final chapter, our final nodes for chapter one that we're going to talk about today are nodes 17 to 19. So, starting off, we've got the shield trait where you can use Maria Hill and Nick Fury. Maria Hill and Nick Fury you need for the Omega Red event. And I would highly recommend using them for these nodes because you're going to have to build them to, probably around gear 14, anyways, uh, especially Maria Hill for your skill raid team. <coughs> Throat's drying out. Yo-Yo, same reason as before, a lot of flexibility with unlocking legendary characters, as well as Quake. Um, Captain America, Hawkeye, and Black Widow are all dog shit tier. It breaks my heart. Captain America is my fucking, I mean, my favorite fucking Marvel character. I love him to death. He's trash in this game. Don't build him. Agent Coulson, Shield Minions are garbage tier. Don't use them. Now, Hulk is part of the war horseman team, so you, you're going to have to have him at Gear 15 and 17, use him for sure. Iron Man and Thor are both part of the Wave 1 Avengers. Obviously, Iron Man is part of your Bionic Avengers tech raid team. And for your Death Scourge unlock, and Thor's going to be used as Heroes Guardians for your War Scourge unlock. So you can use all three of them. Again, you have Captain America, Hawkeye, and Widow here. Fantastic Four, I only have Invisible Woman not read it out here because you need her for Nowhere Heist, the same as Rocket Raccoon. Otherwise, don't touch the other three with a with a, a million meter pole. Don't do it. For 1719, I would just recommend running Maria Hill, Nick Fury, Hulk, Iron Man, and Thor. So that's going to cover it for this first chapter of Doom War. 
let me know in the comments guys what were you guys using when you first cleared this through if you're a newer player and maybe you don't have access to some of these characters what are you going to build or pursue it am i a fucking idiot let me know let's talk about it otherwise guys we'll be back tomorrow and have a good night stay safe